Hi guys, Lisa here. So today's topic is what's the difference between Japanese and Chinese? I mean the language. So let's start from the grammar.、Um, begin of the word order. So Chinese,、uh, like I mentioned before,、uh, is almost the same with English. It's S V O, subject, verb, object. So, for example, I love you in Chinese is also、um, direct directly translated into English is also I love you, and I go to school is I go to school. The weather is good. The weather is good, but in Japanese it's quite different.、Uh, the word order is subject,、uh, object, and verb, and the language itself it's kind of totally different system. So if you want to say I love you, translate it directly in English. It's kind of like loving, and I go to school is go to sc- school go to, and the weather is good is good weather is something like that. All right, let's move on to the word transform. So in Chinese, there's no totally no word transform. You don't change. Any words, uh, to some other forms, but in Japanese, um, usually the verb and uh, uh, adjective verb, uh, usually uh, transform, um, based on what you wanna say, what you wanna express. So, for example, uh, the original form of eat in Chinese is just eat. So you don't cha- you don't change it to eat, eat, eaten. It's always eat. And、uh, if you want to say eat in Japanese, it's taberu. That's the original form of the wor- verb.、Uh, and if you want to say I want to eat, it's tabetai. So you change the、uh, the end of the verb. And、uh, so、uh, want to is always something something tai. And、uh, if you want to say I can eat,、uh, in Japanese is tabetareru, or but sometimes in the、uh, speaking language usually say tabetareru. And、uh, please eat is tabete, and feed is tabesaseru.、Uh, so if you want to say eat in a polite form, it will be、uh, tabemasu. So you change the lu to masu, uh, and uh, all the other things can change to the polite form. So tabetai,、uh, I want to eat tabetai, will change to tabetai des, and、uh, can eat tabelareru tabelareru will be tabelare masu tabelare masu, and please eat will be ta tabete kudasai. So you add kudasai、uh, to express please. And feed, uh, tabesaseru change to polite form, uh, will be tabesase masu. So you change the lu to masu, something like that. And there's、uh, a lot of other stuff. I can't uh explain it. Uh, I can't explain them all in this video. So maybe um、uh, some other times. Uh, but I think you can get the idea. Um. And another、uh, pretty different things、uh, between Japanese and Chinese is Chinese character.、Uh, so both of them use Chinese character. Even it's Japanese, but they say Chinese character、uh, because it's originally from China. But、um, the two countries, you know, changes、uh, on their own ways. So the can,、uh, Chinese character these days、um, are quite different between these two countries. So、um, in Chinese,、uh, there's also the simple,、uh, simplify form、uh, character, simplify character, and、uh, the traditional character. So there's kind of like three type of ch- Chinese characters are used these days. Uh, so let's from the left hand.、Uh, so this can a、uh, Chinese character means change. So、uh, 
the very left is uh, Chinese mainland uh, form we use um, in Mandarin. Uh, so it looks, looks like this. And uh, the middle one is the traditional form. So it used in uh, Taiwan and Hong Kong. Um, and the left one is the uh, Chinese character used in uh, Japan. So you can see uh, it's kind of different. It's kind of similar, but the details are kind of different. And uh, on the right side, um, the Chinese character means uh, turtle. So uh, it's also from the left to right is uh, mainland Chinese, uh, Mandarin, uh, simplified form. And the middle is the traditional form in Chinese. Uh, and the left one is uh, the Chinese character in Japan. And uh, so uh, also there are some uh, uh, Chinese character and uh, uh, some words. Uh, we use both in Jap Japanese and Chinese, and it's almost the same in, in the characters. But the meaning is totally different. <laughs> so if you use the, the, the same Chinese characters, uh, it depends which language are you using. So the first one uh, is, uh, in Japanese, is musume, means daughter. And in Chinese, it's niang, it means mother. You know, it's totally different. <laughs> mother or daughter, it's totally different, right? And the second one is, uh, in Japanese, uh, saishi. It it's uh, it's called saishi, so it's mean uh, it means uh, wife and uh, kids, so wife and kids. Uh, but in Chinese, uh, it's called qizi, so it only means uh, wife, the wife. And the third one, uh, in Japanese, it's called aijin, so it means uh, mistress. And lover, lovers, uh, more more like mistress. And in Chinese, uh, it's called ai ren. It means a married couple, the the wife or the husband. So you can call your wife ai ren, and you can also call uh, if if you're the uh, if you're you're the wife, you can call your husband uh, ai ren. So. Um, both the wife and husband can call each other uh, iron. Uh, it usually, uh, like uh, you, when you introduce your wife or husband to other people, you can call them, uh, that's my iron, something like that. And uh, the next one uh, in Japanese is tegami. It means uh, letter. So like you write a letter uh, to some friends or some, someone like the latter. But, uh, but in Chinese, it's called uh, 手指. It means toilet paper. <laughs> so it's totally different, right? <laughs> you won't write a toilet paper to <laughs> some friends, right? Um, and the last one, uh, the last but not least, <laughs> is in Japanese, uh, uh, it's called 大丈夫. It means, um, I'm all right, I'm okay. Uh, that's all right, no problem. But in Chinese, it's called 大丈夫. It means um, like a kind of like a strong man, Mas muscular or strong or some uh, mentally strong man. You know, it's kind of re really strong man. It means that, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of totally different. And there's a lot of other examples. I can't express them all in this video, but you can get these ideas. And uh, uh, sometimes people say Japanese and Chinese, uh, they can uh, write, uh, they can commu communicate by writing. But uh, since there's a lot of um, 
same word but different meaning words, it sometimes get really confused, and uh, it makes a lot of um, funny stories. Um, so for me, um, usually I don't get uh, confused uh, with. Japanese and Chinese, but、um, for example, like、uh, I watch the YouTube YouTube videos, and in like Chinese and Japanese and English in three languages, so、um, so they give、uh, they give me a lot of、uh, recommendations, right,、um, of of videos. So when I uh, uh, browsing when I browsing the,、uh, the YouTube. And see those videos.、Um, sometimes、uh, it get me confused uh, because um, the videos uh, use chi- uh, use Chinese characters, but sometimes it's Japanese, sometimes it's、uh, Chinese, and it's all mixed up on the screen. So sometimes I think I thought it's Chinese, and I read it, but. Couldn't understand the meaning, but when I change it, change my switch,、uh, switch the mode, switch my mind to Japanese, then suddenly I can understand. Something like that happens. Yeah, it's only like、mm, a a second for me, but yeah, I get get confused sometimes、um, when I、uh, browse YouTube or uh, some uh, websites. Yeah. All right. So、uh, the next thing is、uh, the next thing I want to introduce is the pronunciation. So in so both of Japanese and Chinese use Chinese characters, uh, but uh, even the same、uh, Chinese characters in Chinese, it usually one characters has one or only one、uh, pronunciation. Uh, but in Japanese, one Chinese characters could have multi pronunciations. So here's the uh, pretty um, like a, a typical example is、uh, this one uh, you see、um, in the golden color, the the Chinese character. So in Chinese, it's、uh, it's called ru. So the meaning is like a sun or a date, some date like、uh, January first or、uh, any date,、um, or or just mean day, one day. So it's called 日 uh, in Chinese, and、uh, we only have one pronunciation for this ca-、uh, Chinese character. But in Japanese, it's. I don't know how many I I know I I haven't count exactly. I don't know how many pronunciations, but there's so many pronunciations for this. Like for example, uh, for example, so it's can called Niki, Niki, Juk, uh, Do Juk, Jit, He, Ka, and and some other <laughs> other pronunciations. Depends on the situation. Depends on the. The uh the vocabulary, so for example, uh in Chinese, 日本 it use this Chinese character. So there's a word 日本 it means Japan, Japan. But in in Japanese, um they also use the same Chinese characters means Japan, but it's called 日本 So so the the Chinese character you can see right now. Uh, pronounce ni,、um, and there's another pronunciations for Japan in Japanese. It's nippon. So <laughs> Japan has two pronunciations only for Japan in Japanese. So nihon and nippon. And、uh, the next one, uh, so, so um. So why they have the different pronunciations and what situations you switch words?、Um, there's also some other、um, stuff for that. So maybe I'll、uh, talk about it in some other videos. So let's see. The next one is 日出、uh, in Chinese. It means、uh, sunrise, and in Japanese it's 日の出 So 
uh, in this case, it's pronounced the he, the same Chinese character. And the next one is jiru uh, in Chinese. So it's also only pronounced ru. Uh, but in Japanese, it's kijijitsu. So it's pronounced jitsu. And the next one is yue uh, yiru. So it's also ru in ch Chinese, but in Japanese is um, uh, ichigatsu tsuitachi. So, so the first day of uh, every month, every month the first day, it's called tsuitachi. Uh, but the second day we uh, we called futsuka. Uh, the next day, the third day we called mika. So usually, um, this. Chinese characters called ka for the date, but um, tsuitachi, the first day, will call tsuitachi. It's always tsuitachi. And uh, um, the 20th, it's always like hatsuka. So it's not uh, niju ninichi. Uh, well, you, you say niju ninichi in some other uh, situations, but when you say the date, it's hatsuka. So there's some specific uh, pronunciations for some specific situation in Japanese. It's not usually always um, the same rule. So it's kind of, yeah, it's also the difficult part uh, in Japanese, I think, for, for the uh, foreigner learners, for the Japanese learners. It's also the difficult part. Then um, the last but not least is for the foreign words in Japanese or Chinese. So the difference is like in Jap in Japanese they can use uh, we can use the uh, hi uh, hiraga uh, katakana we can use the katakana for the foreign words. For example, like uh, in English, coffee. So in Japanese, you can just use katakana, and it's pronounced kohi. Well, it's pronounced um, a little different, but kind of um, pretty similar. And in Chinese, we always use Chinese character. We only use Chinese characters for writing, uh, for letters. So um, in Chinese, it's uh, pronounced cafe, so coffee, cafe, and Japanese, it's kohi. So, so English, Japanese, Chinese were pronounced like coffee, kohi, cafe. Well, which one you think is more similar with uh, the original pronounce? Um, you can you can decide, and the next one next example is cho uh, chocolate. So in Japanese it's chocolate, chocolate. The Chinese is chocolate, chocolate. So chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Mm, you can yeah, you can see the di uh, the the uh, the difference. And uh, the next one is sofa. So sofa in Japanese, sofa. And Chinese, shafa. Well, this one, I think Japanese is more similar with uh, English, right? And uh, uh, the next one, McDonald's. And in Japanese, McDonald's. And Chinese, McDonald's. <laughs> It's kind of different, right? Uh, McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. Yeah, so there are the difference. So uh, Chinese will change, uh, will use only Chinese character to express um, the foreign words. But in Japanese, uh, we can use katakana. So it's kind, I think, Japanese will be um, much uh, easier, much simple and easier to translate the English or foreign words. But in Chinese, uh, actually, there's a lot of um, rules or sort of speak 
um, yeah, there's uh, some some logic for for the foreign words to translate to uh, Chinese words. Maybe I'll make another video to explain this. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. So that's it for today. For today's topic. Um, hopefully you, you enjoyed this and uh, um, learned some Japanese and Chinese and uh, maybe, maybe I hope to give you some ideas uh, to see the difference between Japanese and Chinese. So thank you for watching. I'll see you around. Stay tuned. Bye. <music>